This video is sponsored by Squarespace. In this video I will share 5 things that I really like and a couple of things that could be better with the Sony FX3. It was lent to me by the Swedish store Camera Doctorn and I've had it for roughly 3 weeks. The Sony FX3 is a full frame cinema camera that will work perfectly as an A-cam but also a complement to for example the bigger FX6. Number 1. It can shoot 4K in 100 and 120 frames per second. And not just in overcrank, but also real-time with audio. For years many cameras have had either or. Some had proper overcrank slow motion, but without audio or they could record in a higher frame rate and let you slow it down in post, which of course means that you are losing the bit rate as well. In the FX3 I get to choose, and given the high bit rates in most modern cameras including this one, it's a trade I will make almost every time. I really like this feature. My only complaint is that even though Sony has worked out their past problems with codecs crashing NLEs, in 4K 100 frames per second, we are taking a step back. It's not super solid. Second thing I really like is the build quality. It is a solid piece of kit, very hefty and quite rugged. It's mostly metal, but still nice and small and surprisingly lightweight. The top panel is a nice addition and the way you attach it without tools feels very solid, much better than other top panel mounts I've tried. Thirdly I want to talk about the buttons and the overall layout. It's a very enjoyable camera to use. The buttons are customizable, but in my opinion already set up in a logical way and the clear labels are perfect for when you are new to the camera. The big record button on top is great, but I kind of wish it would trade places with the shutter release. This is after all a video camera first. Also as you know by now, I'm not a fan of fully articulated screens, which can't even move past the audio connections. And I would like a start and stop button on the top panel. But this is all nitpicking at home, when out actually using the thing I find it very smooth and easy to work with. It gets out of my way. The Sony menus have improved a lot, but they are still pretty cluttered with pop-up screens and other annoying messages. Next I want to talk about the image. For years we were told that the next Sony camera would have much better colors and better log profiles than the predecessor. And frankly, many of us got a bit tired of hearing that, but not seeing any major difference. But after skipping a couple of generations, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. I really like the image and colors from this. And S-Log has definitely become 100% usable instead of just a gimmick. Beefy codex and the dynamic range is excellent. Last I want to talk about stills, and mainly the mechanical shutter. Ever since the Canon XC10, I've hoped for a video or cinema camera with an actual mechanical shutter for the stills function and that it can shoot raw stills. Given that the FX3 is a rebuilt A7S III, it has exactly that. Sony lent me an A7S III this last winter, so most samples are shot with that, but it would look the same if I had used the FX3. The low megapixel sensor helps bring out an impressive dynamic range and the resolution is more than good enough for most things. Very powerful to have a decent stills camera built in. Too bad it needs switching modes, unlike a Panasonic or Canon. That was 5 things I really like with the Sony FX3 and as a bonus, since it's not exactly about the camera, I will mention the 24mm f1.4G Master lens. 
I've used some really nice Sony glass in the past, but this is my new favorite. Excellent image quality, very nicely built, and it has a very smooth focus by wire for video. Please subscribe for more videos and follow me on Instagram. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you are a creator looking to grow your audience, then a website should be your first move. Squarespace is a popular and powerful platform that makes setting it up super easy using their templates and professional portfolio designs which of course are customizable. You can also include a booking schedule making it easier for you and your clients to connect. You also get access to Squarespace email campaigns so you can engage with your audience in a consistent and effective way. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Matthias Buhling to save 10% of your first purchase on a website or domain.